Thank uh, you. Putting aside the issue of whether it should be banned or not, which we'll come on to in a minute, is it not clear that in many cases the wearing of the burqa or the niqab, the full face veil, is really a way of marginalising women, making them second-class citizens and making sure they don't participate in the mainstream of our society? Look, look my mother wears the niqab, right? Um, she's, she's not religious. Uh, she, she just doesn't want to be seen with my dad. Uh, but um, <laughs> the thing is that a lot of these women choose to wear it. They're not forced to How wear it. How do we it. know that? Well, I know that. I know loads of Muslim women. And I have to say, it's a minority that wear the burqa, which mm -hmm. is the full. Um, I know a lot of women that wear the niqab, and their husbands don't like them wearing it, but they want to wear it. And Why has it been on the increase then recently? Well, I mean, I go to Pakistan a lot. I perform in Pakistan mm. a lot. And you rarely see women in the burqa and you mm. rarely see women in the niqab. So why here? Um, but do you know what I think here? Partly it is, I think they're cold. I think they're cold. I think it's the British weather. <laughs> well, the overwhelming, <laughs> the overwhelming number of, of British Muslims come from Southeast Asia, where there is no tradition of That's wearing right. these I things. Think, so are they, is it the Blair, men telling them no, to do it? Is it the mosques no. telling them I to do it? I think when Blair went into Iraq, there was a rise in extremism, and since then, women are wearing it. A, is a political statement. I know some women that wear the niqab as a political statement because mm -hmm. they feel that they're being attacked. I know some women that wear it as a fashion because a lot of their friends are wearing it. So they want to wear it. And a lot of Muslim women are judgmental mm -hmm. to other Muslim women who don't but, wear it. But there is, particularly in the north of the country, there's a high Muslim unemployment uh, problem. Mm. Uh, there, there is a issue of multiculturalism and integration, of making sure the British Muslim community is a successful and holy part of British society. Mm. We seem to be the one way to make sure that doesn't happen is to wear a burqa. It, that, that's not true because a lot of these women are really educated. I mean, my ah, mom, but what jobs are they? Who is going to employ somebody wearing a burqa? But the thing is, my mother has been a teacher for 20 years. When she's teaching, she never wears no, it. No, exactly. And a lot of the women, yeah, they're very, you know, they're very good at taking it off when they need to take it off. I've got a friend who's a doctor who wears the niqab. When she's in a GP in a surgery, oh. she takes it off. Yeah, but that, but that's a, that's a freedom issue. Then there's been an argument that they shouldn't have to take it off at all. Where are you on this? Uh, I, I'm that it would be completely futile to try and legislate on how people dress. Uh, I mean, I remember the... Though the French have tried. Yeah, but it's futile. And, and I, actually, it, it used to go the other way, you okay. know, that, that we used to try and ban bikinis and things like that, or at least the Spanish government used to try and ban bikinis. However, I do think... I was under Franco. I do think, okay. I do think that the government requires us to... It requires some things of us. I mean, for example, we're not allowed to be indecent in public... Uh, Women can't show their breasts in public. Uh, when you go to certain uh, places, you're expected to dress in a certain mm. way. And so I think it's perfectly reasonable that someone, for example, appearing as a witness in a court case, uh, somebody who's dealing with the public uh, on behalf of a public institution, that in these cases they should not be required to... Uh, sorry, they should be required should not to wear the kneecap. And, and, I and, think a lot uh, of the women are very compliant with this. They're very happy to do yeah. that, to take their, their full face veil off at passport control in a court of law. They're very happy to do that. It's a, you know, you, uh, and what you passport just... control, surely you have no... I mean, I was coming out of the, the Gulf last week and there were th uh, three women in front of me in the niqab. Uh, the, the passport control was run by men. They were forced to show their faces in and, the Gulf. I mean, surely you have to do that. You have to do that. Otherwise, it could be this guy's just done a runner. And it doesn't say in the Quran or, every, or anywhere yeah. that when you get to passport control, you must yeah. still keep it on. I, I mean, I, this is it, ridiculous. It just says when you get to passport control, you have to behave modestly. That's right. Uh, Which is good thing, advice wherever you are, uh, yeah. whether a Muslim or not. <laughs> Alan, where are you on this? I, I think we've got a consensus here. I agree completely. I don't quite understand why you lumped it in with female genital mutilation, <laughs> because, you know, that is quite clearly against the law. Well, and illegal. it's astounding that there's been no mm. uh, prosecutions. Well, and if know. that's because someone is concerned about a cultural issue, then I, I, would, about I would be cultural very depressed. sensitivities. People are scared to bring up this issue. Well, People are scared. Health professionals are scared are to really? ask. Even there's, though women are being mutilated? Well, these girls are never going to prosecute their parents. They don't want to do that. They don't want to bring a prosecution against their parents. No, but that's often the case, too, in child abuse cases. The, 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 the kids are they're too frightened to do anything. They don't even know whether they have the power to do that. But surely it's the job of a proper society to step in and do something.
The thing with the genital mutilation is I think people in this country are getting confused and thinking it's a Muslim issue, it's a cultural, it's a religious issue, and it's not at all. It's not a religious issue. It's not a Muslim issue. It's a cultural issue that has been going down for centuries and centuries, and nobody's questioned and it. And which culture is it in? Well, it's in Sudan, it's in Somalia. But these are happening in Muslim communities. But it's not a Muslim. It's uh, not a Muslim thing. Is it happening thing. in Christian or is it happening in Hindu communities? I don't know. People in is Pakistan. It's happening that's, in that's Sikh happening. communities. I don't know. Okay. I don't know either. But we've run out of time. <laughs>